Welcome to Sew with Monty. Today we're going to drape a basic collar and I'm just going to use my torso block to align to for my neckline and show you how to do this. The first thing I've done is ripped a piece of muslin six inches wide by 14 inches long and then in the center back I've drawn a line here so that I could book my center back neckline too when I start draping. And the first thing I'm going to do is put my center back neckline up here with about an inch and a half extension below the bottom of the neckline. So I'll just pin right on my neckline here and make sure this line is right on my center back. And I'm going to put three pins in there so it doesn't pivot. And then I'm going to come around through here and I'm going to snip as I go, making sure I don't snip into the neckline so that it starts to lay very nicely along the back edge of my neck and the side neck. We'll see how, it, by clipping it, see how nice it starts to lay. And You might have to clip it a little deeper. Just make sure you don't go into your actual neckline. Stay where it doesn't go in there and just keep smoothing it out to the neckline of your form. And I'll go one more here. See, and, and that starts to smooth this out. And you just keep, keep doing it, making sure you, you're a little bit timid with it so you don't go into See how nice that's starting to look? So when I get to the shoulder point right here, I'm going to take a little pinch in it about two to three inches above my shoulder point. I'm just going to make a little tuck. This is just a little ease tuck. I'm going to release it when I start building my collar. I'm just going to do an eighth on a double, about two inches up from my neckline. See, like this. It looks a little awkward now, but it'll make sense in a minute. And then I'm going to go to the front of my neck. Let's get these pins out of here so they don't interfere with the collar drape. And I'm going to continue clipping until I get to the center front neck. So we're just going to clip nice and easy. I don't, I want to keep it barreling around the neck itself. I don't want to change that, but I just want to clip into there, making sure I don't exceed my neckline or my center front point. See how nice that's laying where I've got it clipped? Now once I have this clipped, I'm going to secure the neckline with pins. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to secure the entire neckline with pins, making sure I'm on top of my, my neckline seam. I want to make sure this tuck is going to zero here and I'm not, the tuck isn't exceeding down into the neckline because that will make the collar too big. But once I have these pins in here, now I'm going to kind of put them in there so I can bury them a little bit so they don't interfere when I turn the collar down. And after I get this all pinned down, like this, I'm going to come back and I'm going to draw a line around my neckline. So that now I know the shape that my collar needs to be to conform with the neckline of my torso. So I'm just going to go around through there. It's a little bit hard to see. If you're having trouble seeing it before you put your torso on, Highlight it with a red marker or something so you can see it through the fabric and that'll make it a lot easier. Now, we're going to take it and we're going to go back here in the back and decide how high we want the collar stand area to be. Usually an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half is standard for such a collar. So I'm going to go an inch and a half, which is right here, and I'm going to put my pin in there and take this pin out because now it's time to make sure that this stays straight. It's got to stay very straight to the back neck. So that's very important that this line stays straight to your back neck. And inch and a half is good. Now, I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to release the ease in the side collar and I'm going to turn this down like this. And you can see that it wants to crinkle and, and do crazy things. So now we have to clip this edge a little bit so that it will release into the shape we want it to be. So you just kind of clip a little bit. Again, be timid. Don't overdo it. But the idea is to clip this outside edge until enough ease appears that this side of your collar is going to turn down at the top of your pin and fit here. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this off right here so that it will fit a little better. And you just keep going at it very gently. You don't want to over clip because if you get too high in there, you're going to expose your under collar and your neckline seam. So you want to be careful about that. But if you just keep clipping and being gentle, and once you have the back where it will reach and overlap itself, go ahead and secure it here. Because you only want this turned down edge of this collar 
to be about an eighth beyond the seam. So I can see the seam in there. So now I can get much closer here and get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm going to get some of this out of here right now so I can get a better idea of what my collar is doing. So the back is looking pretty good, but I want to release it right here so that this is closer to the side neck. So I'm going to just go in there a little bit closer and a little bit more clipping so that I'm getting real close to that line without getting on top of it. And you can start to see the collar take shape now. Now I'm going to clip a little bit here because I don't want all this. I want to relax it so that now I can come in here. See, and I can start to see where I'm going to put my point. So I'm going to go in here and decide how long I want my notch to be. So I think I'm going to do a three inch notch right there. And I want my space to be three inches as well, inch and a half, inch and a half from center front. So that'll be my point of my shoulder. So I'm just going to use this little tape measure to kind of guide it in there. See, just like that. That's, that's going to be my new collar. Now, after you start to see your collar develop, you can come back in and trim off the extra. The more you get off of here, the prettier this collar is going to sit. So I'm getting closer now. So I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to start from the front this time, and get rid of some of this extra, extra fabric. I don't need it anymore. So that's gone. And I'm going to come here and trim this off. When you get rid of all the extra fabric, that's when things start to really appear. The idea is, though, to go slow at it. Don't trim too much too fast. Because if you do, you're going to end up going into a place you don't really want to cut into. So just go slow. If you have to cut it a couple times, so be it. It's better to cut it a couple times than cut it wrong, and then you have to start all over. So you can see by releasing all that extra fabric, look how nice the collar's laying. And then if you want to really see it, you can get rid of all this under stuff because you don't need it anymore. So we'll trim this off and then we'll take a good look at our collar. Don't forget though when you're draping a collar to put that little pinch in at the side neck. Otherwise your collar is going to be too tight. You can see how easily it would be too tight. I only did an eighth on the double, but the bigger your collar is, the higher your stand, the more you want to pinch there. If you're going to go up higher, you want about a quarter on the double and so forth and so on. So the higher you go, the higher you want your little pinch at the side neck to be, or the deeper, I'm sorry, the deeper you want that pinch to be so that it gets the right shape and it, it does have ease. But you need a little ease. You don't want it so tight that, it, uh, that it's pulling. So I'm just going to trim this one more time back here and then I'm going to pin it nice and clean right here at the center back neck. And you can see how nice the collar's laying there. And get that little lift there. And there you have it, draping a collar.